Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Hope your weekends and your weekend leagues are going well. If you are playing, we have a lot more to talk about on this market as Todd's prices do continue to drop with EA running continuously crazy Bundesliga specific lightning round packs. A lot of these cards have continued to drop even a little bit lower than where they were yesterday. We did have a lot of market swings yesterday with these cards going up a little bit in price. But what I really want to focus on today is the potential. Since it is a Sunday, there's two things that we often see on Sundays at least in the past couple of weeks. The first thing is a new secondary league of team of the season dropping today. EFL goes out of packs. Saudi League Tots is replacing these cards today. We have a couple leagues to look at. Cards look really good, and I want to talk through that. Of course, Sundays are also icon pack days, like new icon pack upgrade SBCs we usually see on Sundays. The 92 plus SBC expires. A lot of you guys are like, Nate, I did this like last week earlier on. I didn't even remember it was out. Yes, this SBC right here, the 92 plus icon moments pack is going away today. Will EA renew this one or will they finally give us the upgrade pack that we all want? The icon moments player pick. I'm really hoping it's a player pick day today. We'll talk about that a little bit more, but those are the two things that I would 100% expect to have some sort of impact on the game with content today on Sunday. I feel like those are going to be the main spots of our content today. And we're going to continue to talk about the market because these Bundesliga Tots cards, like I mentioned, I sold a lot of Kimmiches and some other flips from last night, from uh, Friday night late into Saturday. The, a lot of these cards did rise after they got really cheap, but also a lot of them are even down further. I sold Holland at 450,000 coins. I believe right now Holland's like 350k and a lot of your Bundesliga Tots cards have fallen even further in price because EA keep running those Bundesliga specific lightning round packs that's supplying them a ton. So we're going to talk about that and SBC fodder, of course, um, with maybe another icon pack coming out today. How could that affect the fodder market this weekend on this game? So if you're excited for a Sunday on FIFA 22, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start off by talking about the icon SBC because here, I think EA has a really, really big window of opportunity right here. We have just seen probably what most people re would regard as a lesser hype team and a lesser hype set of cards of team of the season Bundesliga released on this game. Yes, the cards are cool. Yes, they're nice. But I think with the prices, with the lack of some of the skill move or weak foot upgrades that we were expecting to see, a lot of these cards just don't cut it for some people. They're good, like we talked about yesterday, but they're not that incredibly hype. I think an icon upgrade SBC, specifically the player pick today, would really be a place where EA could kind of spin that hype around and put some more excitement back into the menus with an SBC because a player pick icon upgrade pack of any sort, right? Everybody loves the player picks when it comes to the icon upgrades. We have not seen an SBC for an icon moments player pick as of yet. Now, there's a couple things I want to talk to talk through with this. There's no leaks for this right now. This is just purely um, thinking through how they would progress during the cycle of doing the icon upgrade packs as they get better and better and better as longer and longer that we go. It feels like we're it feels like we're due an icon moments player pick. It, I mean, we I honestly thought we were going to get it after we had the regular moments upgrade pack two weeks in a row uh, earlier on in April. Now we had the 92 plus icon moments pack last week on Sunday. It was the first time that we had it. I still think there is potential today that they would re up this pack. If you guys remember what they did the first time with the icon moments upgrade, they released it at like five, 600,000 coins. Then the second time they released it a week later, they cut the price in half and it was like 380 K. And that was the week when like 84s and 85s absolutely exploded for the first week of team of the season, I believe is when that was, they could do that same scenario today with a 92 plus upgrade, release the same SBC, but make it like 400 K. And that would, I think that would, you know, impact the market a lot as well. And I think people would be very, very happy for that because it would be so cheap. Um, but I also think there's potential of an icon moments upgrade. Now, if they did an icon moments upgrade player pick, which I think a lot of people would want, that's the one that we want, right? I think that would come in somewhere around, I would imagine like 750,000 coins. And the first time they release a player pick like this, they know that people have, you know, fodder in their clubs and team of the season cards in their clubs to turn in to kind of craft an SBC. They know they're going to be dropping upgrade packs tomorrow and Monday for Bundesliga Tots and people will be opening those. 
to try to pack players. So I think they would get away with putting this SBC price a little bit higher than normal. Also, fodder is really cheap right now. So that would be an argument for the SBC might maybe being a bit cheaper uh, than what we would normally expect as well. But if we were to get a moments player pick, I think that would be a 750k ish SBC. And I'm really on the fence. I don't know which one's going to come. I just want to talk about it today to kind of get you guys prepared and to kind of talk about it. I really could see the 92 plus moments getting re-released at a cheaper price or even the same price, which would be an L. But again, I think EA sees a great opportunity here. And of course, they don't want people to fall off and to leave the game after a really hype week of Premier League Tots. A lot of people aren't as hyped for these cards here. So if they released a great SBC that would get the excitement going again, like I said, then that would draw some people back in the menus and that would get some engagement for EA. So with an Icon Moments SBC, whatever comes out today, what's going to be the fodder investing play? Because this is usually the time of the weekend where we're looking at fodder and we're saying, okay, these cards are getting low, which they are once again. Here's my advice for fodder this week. Focus on the lower tier. And I would just say, if you're going to dabble in the higher tier, then you're really banking on an Icon Moments player pick coming. Because I think the only way that like the 87, 88 rated cards, this stuff here really goes up is it's going to take an SBC like a moment's pick with a lot of hype to really move these cards. Like again, these cards are really cheap. I get it. 18,000 coins for Lukaku, Suarez, Navas, and some of these Tots cards are really, really low. But just think about where your demand is coming this week. A lot of your demand is going to come on the lower tier once again, especially as people have higher rated Tots cards in their clubs, you know, that they can do an 85 rated SBC with some 83s, 84s, and an 88 or an 89 rated tots card that they have as a duplicate or that they pack this week so i think that the best play on fodder is the 83s 84s and 85s just because if we don't get a good icon moments upgrade today or one that is very exciting then still you're going to have a lot of fodder movement with the Bundesliga 85, 83 times 5 pack, which I think would also be coming out today on Sunday or tomorrow on Monday. So I think that if you're going to buy some fodder, the 83s to the 86s are great. I mean, if you even take a look at some of the 83s from last week, these cards were, were up a lot. I don't know if it's going to show me these on like Friday morning. You know, yeah, it's not going to show me these because it's too far back in time. But 83s were really expensive earlier on last week during Prem Tots. Um, with all the SBCs that were going on, and even before that as well. 84s last week, I, I know they only went to 4,000 coins. 85s only went to like 7K, and 86s were like 11,000 coins. But, uh, you know, it's all going to come down to how good the content is this week. If we're going to see bigger rises on these cards, or if you guys are still holding your investments from last week on fodder, that's fine too, because they're down. But some of the prices last week were even lower, right? Ginter is 3,000 coins. Uh, I believe he was like two and a half K. He went up to basically almost 4,000 coins and, and is now back down in the low threes. So get on some bids, stock the club. I think that fodder is a really good buy. I think that it is going to go up a decent amount this week because like I mentioned again, and as actually we saw last year too, EA is going to have to step up the content if they want this week to be a really good week of team of the season. And last year they did. Bundesliga 83 uh, plus times five. There's an 85 plus Bundesliga player pick. We had a Douglas Costa flashback uh, last year. We had the Silas SBC last year. Um, we had the Tapsoba, the Lazaro, and the Mbabu flashback. All of those player SBCs. We also had the Jude Bellingham U23. Last year, Bundesliga team of the season content was fire. I don't know if they're going to continue that again, but that's just kind of a reminder that if the content is as fire as it was last year, if you kind of can just conceptualize really insane Bundesliga cards, I mean, there's a lot of potential, right? For cards that they could drop for Bundesliga player SBCs. Um, I feel like we're starting off with a semi W in Vitzel and then just like an OKW with Modest, a card that's not really meta and really hype. It just has a sick dynamic image. So if they really continue to build on this throughout the week, then we would see bigger rises on fodder. That's why I think fodder is a, probably still a good play, um, even though we don't have any insane leaks of, of great cards to come along those lines. I think that fodder on the lower tier, if you want to make any investments, fill your transfer list up, I think it is a, a really safe call. I really think that's a safe call. I think that will be rising later on in the week, just on the normal weekly fluctuation. Low on the weekend, rising Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe even Thursday, and then it goes back down again as we get on the next weekend with the lightning rounds 
and all that stuff. So that's kind of what I'm feeling with that part of the market right now. I am going to do the Modest SBC because this card is just flat out cool with the dynamic image that he got, the four star, four star upgrade. It's really cheap. It's like 100,000 coins. If you're doing any upgrade packs this week, it's really craftable. And if you're going to be playing in the Bundesliga Cup, uh, which I believe was a, an objective that was dropped yesterday, um, 13 days to do this, right? And so you win in, in this uh, in this mode. There's another tot swap token that is inside of here. And you get all the player picks, of course, and the Bundesliga specific ones that are inside of this as well. Earn a player pick, one of two 84 plus Bundesliga. So if you're going to be grinding the tots cup uh, inside of this week, then yeah, one of two 84 plus for seven wins, one of three 80 plus for six wins. You know, th that uh, Modest card might help you out a little bit inside of there. So that's kind of a W if you're going to be grinding in that game mode, which we do like those. I like the Tots Cup objectives. I can't lie. I haven't really participated in them, in them too much myself, um, but the, I think they are really, really good. Now let's talk market. Uh, and actually, let's take a look at some SBC leaks and some other cards that are leaked to be coming. I think we have four things to look at at the moment. First of all, we have a Europa League showdown SBC that is leaked to be coming soon. Goldson and Da Costa. This Da Costa card would be absolutely perfect timing uh, for Bundesliga cards and, and squads right now. I know that we have the Frimpong that has got everybody so hyped and he's 56,000 coins with the 99 pace and the links to Diaby, which is a really cracked card as well. But I think this this the Costa card provides the German and Bundesliga links together for a link up with like Sule or a lot of the other cards that are in Bundesliga Tots or maybe SBCs that come out later on this week that are those German links. So that's kind of a nice card in the Costa right there. Again, potential to upgrade based on the Europa League game between those two sides. Don't know what day it's going to be, uh, but hopefully pretty soon. Obviously, as that uh, relates to the game. That will be coming pretty soon as well. Now, let's take a look at the leaked cards that we'll see today for Saudi Tots. Taliska. And you guys know me. I'm a big fan of Taliska. Start of the game this year. I used this card out. Great, great card. Um, and this one looks really, really freaking good. He, he does the finesse shot trade. I hope that EA would upgrade his card a little bit on the on the skill move or the weak foot category just to make it cracked. But the ones to watch Anderson Taliska was an early on FIFA favorite this year. I know he doesn't have that great of links, but he is Brazilian. He's got the finesse shot trade. He's got the flare trade, um, long shot and outside the foot. So he's got all the good traits and he's got a really, really good pace split. 91 acceleration and 83 sprint speed on an 87 pace card, 92 finishing, um, and a four star four star, like we mentioned, high low, he's got the high and lean body type. He is very tall, he does not have the best balance, but again, you can imagine these stats of 88 dribbling with 92 balance, and with 89 ball control and 88 dribbling stat, and you boost that up to a 94, this is going to be a really good card. It's going to be fun to use and pretty meta on the game. So if you like Taliska earlier on in the year, it's probably going to be pretty cheap as well. I'm excited to see that card come out today. And then also, you guys might remember this. I packed this guy red in FIFA 20, I think it was. He had a Tots card. This guy is unbelievable in FIFA. The dribbling stat's a little bit low. I won't lie, but Romarinho is going to be back in team of the season this year as well. Again, another Brazilian card in the Saudi League. Um... Let me see if I can... Okay, I'm not spelling his name correctly. Romarinho. Let's look him up really quick. No special cards this year. He's four-star, four-star as well. His dribbling stat is kind of low because he is down on the reactions, the ball control, and the composure. He has really good agility balance, high medium work rates, 4-4, four, four, lean body type, and the speed dribbler trait. So it's going to come down to how much they can boost up the dribbling stats probably uh, on this card. But 90 dribbling should be pretty good, and he's going to be pretty cheap as well. Those might be some fun cards to try for some Brazilian link-ups uh, in your team. Those are the most, I think those are the biggest two Bundes, or not Bundesliga, uh, Saudi League Tots leaks that we have right now at the moment. We do have one more leak for an SBC, a U23 Bundesliga card, Paulinho. Are these stats predicted? Oh, man, they're expected stats. So... That's kind of an L, I won't lie. 89 pace, 94 dribble, 88 shooting, and 92 passing. I mean, that's a bit disappointing. That does not bode well for like the rest of the week content-wise. If that's our first uh, leaked SBC, think about it, right? We had Douglas Costa last year. This year, we have this. Um, that's a bit of a bummer, I can't lie. So hopefully, EA juice the stats up on this and make it a really good card. If he had like 91 pace and 90 shooting, plus two in both of those, then I'd be like, okay, that might be a cool SBC to do if they make it pretty cheap. Um, so that is another leaked SBC that we have right now, but there's just not a ton of hype with that in my opinion. So let's head back to the market and talk market for, um, just a second once again, because 
like we mentioned in uh, yesterday's video, there might be a few fluctuations on these TOTS cards, which there was last night. I bought some Kimmich at 600,000 coins, and I ended up selling him at like 700 to 730K. Um, and Kimmich actually ended up getting crazy rare yesterday. He was one of the only cards that went up so much after his uh, price, you know, like the late Friday night, early Saturday morning price, he went up a bunch. Then he kept going up after content, but most of the cards just kept going down. Case in point is Erling Holland, right? 360,000 coins for this Holland card, who I sold literally about 12 hours ago from recording this video at uh, 457 and 470, I think is where I sold him, and 445. So like there was there was some good trades and some good flips. Now a lot of, some cards didn't even um, go up. Like Lewandowski, I bought this at 590, didn't make any money on this because he didn't move, was just trying to flip him off of rarity, even though he, I, th I think he's still a little bit too expensive. Um, but Kimmich was absolutely the best one. And as we take a look at the rest of the team, price-wise, a lot of them are down. Bellingham's 3.2. Diaby's 147. He was like 170 plus. Indica was over 300K. He's 270. Davies is down at 250. Um, Muller is down. Verts is down. And you know what, guys? I got to be honest. And Kunku is still extinct. This dude, EA, EA is keeping this card from us right now in this game. I don't know how they have not updated the price range yet. Usually, team of the season cards get updated price ranges super duper fast. He is still extinct at 1.5 million. And with how much the prices of this Bundesliga team of the season team keep dropping, you know what? The longer that he stays extinct and the longer that EA don't upgrade his price range, the less I like the card to be above 1.5 million coins after he gets updated. That's just my personal opinion on it. I know early on we were like, yes, I kind of, I think this card will be over 2 mil. But now that he's still extinct, not on the market, and we haven't had a price range update, which is kind of crazy because usually on a, on a TOTS weekend where they're dropping a brand new TOTS item, they want you to be able to use the card. So they update the price range pretty quickly. That's not the case here with Nkuku. He's still extinct. I'd be very careful if you still own this card at 1.5 mil. Um, do I think that he'll get panic sold? You know, I'm kind of remembering the Marcelo foot captain scenario here where, you know, people just sort of all of a sudden decided they didn't think he was worth 1.3 mil. Uh, this is back to the Marcelo situation. Uh, and then he got panic sold really bad on like Sunday or Monday. And then he rebounded like crazy after that, because then people went, went and, and bought him back. So, um, you know, be very careful then Kunku. He does have a lot of hype. Um, but, and he also does seem really, really rare. So it's, it's a weird scenario, but I'm just put off by the fact that EA have not updated the price range yet. So if you're using Nkunku, if you packed him or something like that, I would be more inclined to take the 1.5 million coins, just seeing how the rest of this team has dropped off a lot in value. I know that Jude Bellingham is still 3.2 mil. I understand that. I still think this is too expensive. I think he's going to keep dropping off later on this weekend. He's 3.27 right now, 3.3. Um, I think this card should be under 3 million coins, hopefully, and not hopefully, and not trying to make people lose coins, but I think that he should be valued under 3 mil in like the next two days. And I think that on Sunday, especially today on Sunday, if the content's good, like an icon player pick comes out, that would also be another reason to see this card continue to drop down in value. So I do think that a lot of your Bundesliga cards will just steadily drop a little lower uh, today on Sunday, but I would also say keep an eye on them because some of them might get too low you know, later in the day and then have potential to rebound back up. It just turned a new hour um, when I'm recording this. I think it just turned to be 3 a.m. UK time. I want to check and see if they just put out the new lightning rounds in the store because I think this is an hour where they usually do. And they put out the Bundesliga half pack and the 85 plus star. Okay, so they didn't do the specific Bundesliga pack um, that just gives out Bundesliga, the lightning round pack at least, that has the really, really crazy, insane pack weight. But... Um, so that's interesting, but I think those packs are going to continue to come out during lightning rounds today on Sunday, uh, cause they, they did that yesterday, um, on Saturday as well. So that's kind of the market at, at the moment. One last thing I want to talk about on the market. I want to speak just really quickly on La Liga special cards, because I know a lot of you guys are asking me, Nate, can I invest in La Liga specials? And, um, you know, I mean, I didn't really tell a lot of these cards as I look at them, they're actually already starting to rise up. Now, I understand that part of that is just the market starting to rebound back in general, because a lot of people um, have been, you know, there's a lot of panic last week for the Prem Tots with everything that came out during that. And now this week, you're seeing the market kind of breathe a little bit. 
and rebound back up to where it is after everybody's gone out and got Prem Tots cards and they've kind of fixed up their teams in that way. The panic has ended, which has seen a lot of the market just rebound back up. But, um, you know, I think that these La Liga specials are going to be pretty heavily invested in. But if the content is not good this week, uh, then I think that they'll continue to steadily rise into the weekend. I feel like there's more hype and more buildup, honestly, for the La Liga team this season right now, especially since Bundesliga has not been that hype. So I do think there there is potential for these cards to rise. I'm just going to be very careful with it. Like I know some people are looking at this Ter Stegen numbers up card with the German links, with Bundesliga tots right now, and of course um, the La Liga links, like Araujo getting a team this season and stuff like that. So just be careful and, and you know watch for some panic on any of the La Liga cards that you might be wanting to pick up for an investment, and uh, just be be willing to hold them throughout the week if you. Um, are going to make that investment and you know hopefully that they keep rising up in price as we get closer and closer on but just also be ready to maybe buy uh on a day or on a time 280 for gomez is that just sitting are you serious all right i'm gonna buy that 280 for mario gomez center attacking mid cdm all right usually this guy sells at like 315 so i'm gonna to toss that up at like 317 because his position changed and we're going to try to sell that over the next couple hours. Boom. There we go. Um, anyways, just be careful with La Liga specials. I think people are already starting to invest. So if you can get some low prices because of some panic, that might be what you have to look for uh, with some of those cards on the game as we had throughout this week. Since there was so much hype last week, investing in Bundesliga specials for uh, this past weekend. So that's going to be the video for today. I hope it's a really hype Sunday today. Um, again, I really think that it's either going to be the 92 plus moments pack again, but super cheap, like 300, 400,000 coins, or it's going to be the icon moments player pick and it's going to be expensive, but it would have a lot of hype and a lot of people want to do it. I'm kind of hoping that it's the player pick today. That's my hope. Don't know what it's going to be. We don't have any specific leaks. It's not a pack, so it wouldn't be added into the code. We will see today on Sunday at 6 p.m. Uh, when the content drop, if that does happen. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, smash thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.